Hello. For this positive video, we are going to see on how to solve the missing database problem. The issue appears when you try to run the software and are prompted with a couple of error messages about missing databases. For POSI to run correctly, it should be able to find three different databases in the Postgres folder in your C drive. But in this case, it's not able to see right off the bat the model database, your test results database, and your user database as well. When you have all three tabs showing up here, it's a clear sign there might have been a change in the permissions in the Postgres folder in your C drive, or it could be maybe a service that should be running, like the Postgres service um, has stopped apparently. So we are gonna cancel this. And the first thing to check will be the folder permissions. And you can find uh, the Postgres folder in your C drive in program files x86. From there, scroll down until you find the Postgres folder. Right click on that, go to properties. In, go ahead and select the security tab. Scroll down until you find bio one click on edit and make sure bio one has full permission full control and modify because bio one by default will be running the postgres service okay click okay on that next thing to check will be services Go ahead and right click on that, open as administrator. And within this list of services, I want you to go ahead and check, first off, uh, secondary logon. And as you can see here, this is set for manual. We are going to correct that and make sure it's set for automatic. Okay, and then start from there. The next service to check is called Postgres SQL. And as you can see here, it's also set for manual, so we're gonna correct that. Automatic. And then start. And as you can see here as well, this service is being run by Bio One and bio one was missing those permissions and that postgres folder so by doing those corrections we should be able to run the software and you should be prompted with your user id and password which is a clear sign that the policy software is now able to find those databases and there you go